now. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just saying that Turkish villagers, they're so, they have a, like a natural um, science. I don't know whether it's evolved by trial and error and all the surviving ones are smart. <laughs> or of course. What, where it's come from, but they've got one thing where they, they measure the salinity when they cover the olives. Now, you need a hydrometer to measure salt in yeah. solution. And so what they do is, um, they don't want to use too much salt. It's an economic, for economic reasons and for other reasons. So they, they float an egg in the salty water. Mm. And when the egg floats above the water, and there's what they call um, on kurush, which means the size of an old 10 kurush piece. When that is protruding above the water, it's the correct amount of salt. So they're using an egg as a hydrometer. Oh my God. And it's ancient. It's before they were using hydrometers probably in um, car batteries. That's one thing. And then they have another thing where they, they have some kind of plant which they preserve in old plastic bottles. And you pick it and you put it straight in the bottle and you fill the bottle up and then you simply put the lid on tight and it goes on, the, the plant goes on living for a while in the bottle oh. and it uses up all of the oxygen and it oh gives God. out carbon dioxide yeah. and it self-preserves and they can take it out months later and it's kind of like, it's sort of like chewy. It's almost like, um, um, I mean, that's one of the cleverest ones. It's, it's literally pick it, put it in a bottle, put the top on. And when, when I first saw it, it was like, that's going to poison you. And it's like, no, no, no. And then I worked out what was happening. It just uses up all the oxygen, gives off carbon dioxide, becomes anaerobic. I don't know why it doesn't um, go bad in any other way, but I've seen them open it months later, pull it out and put it straight in their mouth. And it's almost like pickled. I never heard about that And there's, there's a ton of things like that. There's a ton of things like that. And it's like a sort of rural science that's evolved. You can't, you can't use a plane because the wood grain goes the wrong way on this corner and it's also got nails and screws so this is a technique I'm not that proud of but you put a very coarse sandpaper and you basically just mill it away in seconds using this straight edge as a guide here the, the edge of the hinge that hinge that joint would come apart but because there's a metal brace on there we can get away with machining that away you can see I've already made it quite straight 